This is TNN News. Hi, everybody. I'm Todd Dankin with TNM News, and welcome to another Todd Talk. I'm really excited today because we're going to talk about some really cool brand new technology that's in the news, and it's out there, and uh, we're going to try to bring some sense to it. Uh, in the studio with me today, or actually in his studio, is uh, a gentleman by the name of G. He is a true visionary and innovator, and he's dedicated to bringing the benefits of blockchain technology to the masses. He is also the executive producer and the host of a show called The Web3 Blockchain Show. So what do you think they talk about? Web3 and blockchain <laughs> stuff, right? He is a true Hello. thought, <laughs> right? He is a true thought leader in the industry and provides valuable insight and education on NFTs, Web3 and the metaverse through an engaging and entertaining multimedia platform. The Web3 Blockchain Show explores a diverse range of industries from fashion to finance and features in-depth interviews with leading creatives, celebrities, and companies in the Web3 NFT community and provides valuable insights to the exciting world of the metaverse. G is an NFT consultant, collector, and enthusiast all the way back since 2020. You know, this is brand new, and that's a long time to be doing this, that's for sure, right? He has a deep oh, yeah. understanding of the ownership of your IP, potential of digital currency, AR, VR, and of course, artificial intelligence. With over 15 years in the music industry as an A&R rep, an artist manager, and a consultant, he's worked with some of the biggest names in the business, including uh, Nipsey Hussle, Beyonce, just to name a few, just a couple of small names in the music industry right there. He's dedicated to disruptive media and helping to shape the future of blockchain, crypto, and Web3 media. G from the Web3 Blockchain Show, welcome to TNM News. Hey, man, what's going on, big bro? How you feeling, man? Yeah, salute to you, man, because it's my pleasure being on with you. Yeah, we're happy to have mm -hmm. you. Good to see you. Hope everything is going well. Mm -hmm. You know, I want to let's sure. just jump right in. You know, you have a great, interesting uh, music and Web3 background, which we're going to talk about in a minute. But what I want to start mm -hmm. with, though, is, uh, you know, your start. Where are you from? Where'd you grow up? And what did you do before the music industry that led you into the music industry? Oh, man. Yeah, well, originally I'm from Brooklyn, New York. Shout out to NYC, baby. What up, Brooklyn? Um, yeah. <laughs> Brooklyn, Brooklyn in the house, Brooklyn in the house. Um, yeah, man, you know, so growing up in a gritty city, right in Apple, um, man, I did a bunch of different things. As a kid, I, I actually, I was an artist. I was an artist first, like drawing artists, like graphic type of artists. Mm -hmm. uh, I wanted to be an architect, to be honest with you. Nice. You know what I'm saying? So I used to I used to build shit, like, you know, and design homes and houses. And I thought I was going to design my first house and all that back then. So I was just always a creator, always on something. Just had creative vibes, energy. Yeah. And, um, yeah, man, that, that's what I thought I was going to do as a kid. But then, you know, life takes its course. Life takes its course. And um, yeah, I was out there, you know, doing a bunch of different things, you know, hustling. And it kind of full circle brought me back to, you know, the music industry. Mm -hmm. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, man, that's when I kind of just found found a like it. I took a like into it and I, and I found a, a lane where, you know, I could kind of fit in. And I've just been riding that wave ever since, really. Nice. <clears throat> nice. So you were both uh, an AR guy and a manager. Which did you like better, finding the artists or managing the artists? Damn, that's a good question. <laughs> I think, ah, uh, shit, man. You know, I, I mean, I'm gonna say both. You know, because I'm a person that, <clears throat> I'm, I'm, I'm a different kind of person, bro. Like, I, I'm a guy that does enjoy the process, and that means even when the process is, is is dirty and ugly, and everybody's like, oh shit, we shouldn't do this, or we shouldn't spend this, and we should, you know, I'm, I'm kind of, I thrive in them environments. To be mm -hmm. honest with you, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I kind of like, I like finding, the, I like finding the scout, but then I also like you know, taking that journey with them as well. You know what I mean? Um, taking it, it's like a, it's like a, um, you know, it's like a rose that rolls out the concrete. You know what I mean? It's kind of like, you know, <clears throat> diamond in the rough, you know? So yeah, yeah. it's about, it's about the process, like I said, and being able to, you know, make something from nothing. Basically. Yeah. That, that's what I thrive off of. Man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was, I've been in the TV and the radio and the, you know, commercial business for a long time, the film business. And, uh, you know, I always, uh, 
you know, align ourselves. We're like carnies, right? We show up to nothing, yeah. right? We build something really cool. We do a lot of cool stuff and we shoot and we make some magic, mm-hmm. right? And then we break it all down right. and move on to the next one, right? Uh, just like the mm-hmm. carnies do. But yeah, same thing in the record industry, huh? Yeah, yeah, same thing, same thing, you know. I mean, a lot of people, excuse me, obviously find their little niche and, you know, they stick to that, you know. Yeah. I, I mean, everybody's using serial entrepreneur nowadays, I get it. But yeah. me personally, I think I was always a serial entrepreneur because I wasn't ever scared to face the challenges or the tasks or the adversities of this other lane over here, right. you know. I was right. like, you know what, I'm I'm behind the scenes anyway, behind the camera, so I'm going I'm to try out. And it's not to say, you know, honestly, I didn't just take it on willingly. Like, you know, right. I was either thrown into it. Right, you know right, right, right. <laughs> or or the only one who showed up that day, right? <laughs> right, like, or the only one that showed up, you right, know, or right. like, I'm the guy that, that knows this guy over here. Right, and right. And then knows this guy over here. So, like, I've always been like a connector, too, right? So, being that connector type, you know, person kind of just put me in position. And I, I was just always up for the task, for the challenge, man. Nice. <laughs> Nice. Uh, so uh, you spent about 15 years in the music industry. And uh, how'd you get yeah. involved with NFTs and Web3 and the blockchain? Because, you know, it's all brand yeah. new. Uh, how, how, yeah. What was your first experience? Uh, shit. My first experience was um, um, one of my guys just telling me, like, yo, he, he, just, he just put me on the NFTs. And he was explaining it to me. And... Um, it was a site right now. I don't know if we could promote it right now or whatever. Like, I don't have no contract or nothing with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this no, first, we can say whatever you want. Thing. Yeah, yeah. Vivi, yeah, yeah. the Vivi app. So, like, you know, um, he's like, yo, Vivi app, you know, we collect the NFTs and stuff. And to me, you know, i kind of always been like a memorabilia type person. I always was a person, like, that understood the value of collection and collector's items. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So I was kind of like, damn, all right, let me see. And then, you know, <clears throat> able to deal with it on the crypto system. You're able to own it, you know what I mean, once you buy it, you know, you're able to trade it and sell it yep. and still, you know, receive, you know, fees and, and um and, and royalties from it. So I'm like, damn, this is this is interesting, you know. So from there, like I didn't really think about it, bro. Like I just was on it and next thing you know, I turned around and I'm I'm like a big advocate for it and I'm telling all the guys and the homies in the hood and you know, I'm telling the guys and the girls, like, yo, listen, like in the communities, you know, marginalized communities of course, like get up on this. I want to get up on this, you know, and then especially I'm going back to my guys and my people in the industry, music industry. And I'm like, listen, this is, this is going to be something, you know, they was all kind of looking at me like I was crazy. and like, uh, yeah, we, uh, we don't know. And I was just on it. So I guess afterwards, like the same guy that put me on at NFTs, he was like, man, like you, you love this shit so much. You're so passionate about it. You might as well just start a podcast. And I was just like, eh, I don't know. I didn't really see it at the time. You right. know? Then I was like, fuck it. I started it. <clears throat> we did like a, a pilot. Well, we did what we thought. We, were shoot, we thought we were shooting a pilot. Yeah. I got a bunch of people in the room, you know, from the, from the web three industry, music industry, whatever. And by the time we left that day from filming, you know, my videographers was like, um, hey, bro, man, like, this is not a pilot. Like, you got a whole season. I'm like, huh? Oh, wow. And I'm like, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, like this is in one day. We just, this is just filming the whole damn day. Yeah. <laughs> so I didn't even know what I was doing, bro. Right. I, I didn't never shot a podcast. I never did like I, I, I was part of a, um, I, I was part of another podcast, you know, checking in, which yeah. was which happened to be a big podcast, you know, like like in the last two three years and stuff. And so like I was watching them do the process, and you know I, I was, um, but I, I never had like a a blueprint or like a game plan I, right. I just was like fuck it and then once they tell me like we had a whole season i was like damn okay i just you know i started taking it a little bit more seriously but then the feedback that we were getting like right off the jump mm-hmm. was kind of like i was like damn okay we got something here and then i've just been rolling with it ever since bro like, nice you know? right so so let's talk about <laughs> uh the web3 blockchain show what's uh what's the main mm-hmm. goal of the show and what's it really all about yeah, the main goal is to educate, educate and entertain. Well, me coming from the music industry, uh, you know, my main goal was always entertain, right? Entertain, entertain, and we're going to make you have fun, make you laugh, whatever. Now our main goal is to educate and entertain. So, you know, entertain, edutainment, edutainment, you know, right. edutainment. edutainment, yeah, right. yeah. A, a word people been throwing around a little bit here and there, but now this is, this is a, a, a word that we're going to solidify right now, like, you know, and, and it needs to be a part of 
everyday life, especially in the industry. And and this is how it is in Web3, you know, because we don't compete over here. You know, we collaborate over here. Mm-hmm. So it's a different mentality and, and it's a different way of, of going about whatever you want to do, you know what I mean? So that you're able to take advantage, full advantage. The creator is able to take advantage. You're able to have your ownership of your IP, ownership of your masters. Um, you know, like the artist that's painting in the galleries, like the gallery owners don't have to, you know, be, be taking 80% and charging 20%, <laughs> which is crazy. I, I never, right, as right. long as I've been alive, I never knew that until like this Web3 ever came along. Like I never knew that, that like, you know, <clears throat> painters and artists that like, that do like this crazy, amazing work, like Picasso level type shit. They, they only get paid 20%. Like, that's crazy. When they all could be selling for upwards in you know, 100,000s and, and up, you know, it's crazy. Yeah, the advantage of owning the art gallery is choosing which, which artists, uh, you know, you can make that 80% from. <laughs> right? Yeah, man, you know. And with Web3, we got the metaverse now. Yeah. You know, of course, everybody's heard about AI. So, an artist, man, you could potentially, not potentially, you are technically your own art gallery right now. Yeah. So, you can set up your own art gallery in the metaverse without that middleman, without the gallery owner, you are yeah. the gallery owner. So now, That's right. you know, you are the real provider. And then now you get in paid for, you pay, get in paid as such, you know what I'm saying? So it's just, it's, it's about, it was about, for me, it was about leveraging the playing field and giving the access and the knowledge to the people that deserve it. And that wouldn't obviously like always get it, you know what I mean? Especially I get it first, you know what I mean? So our thing is like giving that access and that knowledge to the people and not making up their minds for them. We don't give them, we don't make no advice. We don't, we don't make up your mind for you. We we don't, we we give you direction and we give you a little bit, um, we give you something to think about, you know what I mean? And you take it from there and you assess however you, you know, because but basically this is my point too, no matter what market, whatever industry you in, no matter what your career path is, you know, what, no matter what, uh, what field you want to get in, what market, it's going web three is is gonna it not is gonna web three is right now as we speak it right there it's taking over yeah right so it's like yeah if companies don't have a web web curve. three strategy they're they're far far behind yeah don't yeah, you think yeah, yeah, yeah you're far behind you know so you want to be taking advantage of the technology you want to be taking advantage of the the web three community you know because it's just like countries and economies are being situated and restructured right now like, yeah. you know when countries are rebuilding their whole infrastructure off of a technology and off of this digital currency y'all guys got to wake up so you know the podcast that we do on the blockchain so is basically um you know it's just a um it's a conduit for the people to you know be able to feel comfortable too because i know a lot of places that they're looking the people they're not speaking to them you know i'm right. speaking to y'all guys i'm speaking to the people i'm speaking to the little guys to the mom and pops you know what i mean no matter what color gender preference you know where you're from in the world it don't matter you know because right. we all one and we be taking it back to being human like fuck being a man a woman or like we be we, we all human yeah. you know especially come on man listen big bro listen we, we gotta we gotta take it back to being human we got ai in the picture right now like 100 <laughs> percent. So we don't take it back to being human <laughs> The AI that's is it. one of they, they already they already see our flaws. Yeah, come on. Yeah, for I sure. I interviewed an AI a few months back, like yeah. Clara, the first Afro Latina AI influencer. You right. know, and she's speaking to me like me and you speaking. I interviewed her like you interviewing me. Nice. She's straight, strictly automated. Yeah. Um, her developer didn't even know what she was going to say or what the response was going to be. Right. You know, and so we 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 need to just be on top of things and be aware of things so that we can make up our minds like properly rather than, you know, you know, making bad judgments or for, you know, not having all the knowledge. Yeah. Not, not listening to, you know, the, the bought and paid for media, but, uh, you yeah. know, the real media with the real story with the real people. That's what it sounds like. Yeah. Yeah. Cause yeah. mainstream media for, for whatever reason, you know, we, you know, there's some speculations are why they, Speculations well, it's all about money. It's all about advertising. You know, in in the early days, in our parents' days, you know, there was no commercials on news programs because it was the one part of the day that, uh, you know, they didn't pay for advertising. So it was just, you know, good, honest news, you know, and then CNN changed all that when they did uh, 24 Mm -hmm. hour news because they had to fill space. Mm -hmm. Right. And uh, the whole news industry just changed. They made it. uh, it's entertainment now and it's not news mm-hmm. and uh that's part exactly. of the problem yeah. you know yeah yeah man and uh, yeah they, they fall in that same 
category, you know, like I said, like I was, you know, just an entertainment, but it's being, it's the entertainment type of space that we in right now. And um, yeah, we here to bring you the real news, you know, because in the mainstream media, you hear nothing but bad things about crypto, yeah. about NFTs. Yeah. It, it's crazy. Like you, when, when you speak to anybody that's in this space, especially from people that's been in this space for a while, even longer than me, it's like, um, come on, man. It, it, it's no way in the world that nothing is perfect, first of all. Like stock exchange, Wall Street, it's crashed a bunch of times. Um, it's going to crash more times most likely you know what i mean it's up and downs you got to ride the wave so it's like it's got good marketing though wall street's got right. good marketing, <laughs> good marketing <laughs> right good marketing good. of course yeah of course, yeah because that's what they want you to be that's right that's, that's exactly right be. yeah yeah, yeah you know? that's exactly so when it comes right to like this decentralized territory they don't really want you to be over here yeah so, you know they're going to do as much to discourage you as possible sure but you know that's why we got youtube university that's right we have each other to bounce bounce ideas off of bounce information off of you know what i mean so we we're we going to be good you know it's going to be it's no way that they can stop it obviously this is why they, they're trying to monopolize it and get you know get their hands in as much as possible but it, it's just it's still essentially for us the small people yeah you know the mom and pops yeah yeah finally something for the people by the people right yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. the whole concept. That's how it should be. Right, right. That, that was the whole concept. Yeah, yeah and that, yeah. that's the mission, you know. So, however, um, you know, however it goes, you know, it's good people in this space that that is here and is willing to help and work with you. You know, I know people that didn't know nothing about crypto six months ago. You yeah. know, and just off of being in the Web three communities and different spaces with different people that you know, like minded individuals over here. Like they, you know, they they could say they've made like ten thousand, twenty thousand, or even like five thousand, two thousand off of crypto of not knowing it six months ago. Right. You know? So like before you do, don't 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 judge the book by its cover. Get to learn something. Get some. Get a mentor. You know, do your research. Like I said, YouTube University, Google University, whatever you got to do. You know, um, find a real mentor in life. You know what I mean? But just do your research yeah. before you make up your mind. Yeah, for sure. So let's talk about uh, one or two of your favorite guests that you've had on the show so far. Oh man, um, shit, man, I had a lot, bro. Um, <laughs> shit. Well, uh, I know it's tough to say, well, t- tough to say my favorite was because they might be listening, but yeah. just one of your favorites. Talk about one of your favorites. It's, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's um. Well, I'm gonna say before I say this, man, I'm not even trying to just be um. I'm, I'm not even just trying to be professional stuff, but see, in all my interviews, I'm learning. So I'm teaching y'all people, but I'm learning myself. Right. So a lot of questions I get asked. Like, I don't necessarily have the answer to, right. but I know the people that have the answers to them. So this is how I facilitate it to you guys, you know? But um, one of my favorite guests, I'd say, would be, I guess would be my mentor, um, Einstein of Wall Street. Shout out to Peter Tuckman over there, you know, doing amazing things down there on the, on the stock exchange, on the floor of the stock exchange. Um, invited me down there, um, stock exchange, um, for the ringing of the bell. Like, that was like a, you know, humongous moment in my life you know I, I never even thought I'd be there and I think guys I'm from Brooklyn New York yeah I forgot I got to the stock exchange off of web three man come on man this is like even my lawyers like bro how did you make this happen I've been in in crypto and all this stuff like all this like I've, I've been in all kind of hedge fund situations and I never made it to the ring of the bell for stock exchange so like yeah listen like web three is changing lives web three is changing situations and and another thing web three leads to generational wealth guys and the, love, the beautiful thing I love about Web3 is that you'll see mothers and sons working together, mothers and daughters working together. You'll see family situations, you know, and it's not too many markets and too many career choices that you can make that you can bring your family in with you. Right. right. And so it's, it's, you're able to feed your family right now. But then being that this is linked to the blockchain, it's linked to cryptocurrency that you can that you're supposed to be holding. Guys, like, I don't give no advice, but. Right. You should probably be kind of holding a little something, guys. But either way, that's what leads to generational wealth. So, like, you guys being to implement AI, Web3, and blockchain into your business, into whatever it is that you want to do in life, like, this is going to lead you to generational wealth. It's going to lead you to residual income so that you don't got to always just wake up to bust your ass to get a check and get a dollar while you're sleeping. The money is coming in, guys. This is this is where we're heading, and this is where we're trying to lead the people to because our main mission, besides educating and entertainment, is onboarding as many people as we can to Web 3.0. Right. So let's talk about uh, some of the merging of uh, music industry, the NFT industry, the blockchain, and why you think that's important. 
Oh man, it's super important. It's super important because we want to be able to have leverage. Okay, we all want leverage. What, what separates the little man from the big man is leverage, guys. It's access, guys. Web3 and the blockchain provides us little people with this same access, same knowledge, okay? And, um, but we have to apply it, okay? So basically, the best thing I could tell a person is when you own, if you're an artist and you're able to own your masters, you can do whatever you want to do with that, okay? If, you, if you're a business owner, okay, and you don't own your, your intellectual property, when you're selling merch or when you're selling anything, then that like that's not in your best interest. So the point about it is that we taking this leverage back, like something that we all do, something that we all do, including myself. We do, we give away our data every day, every for free. Okay, we all do it because as soon as you gotta go click on the app, boom, like you know we we hardly don't even read the we don't scroll down and read it. We just is like oh listen, boop okay. Except terms right and conditions, really, right? Terms and conditions, <laughs> right? Then and there, right. we freely, will, we free willy nilly give away our rights, yeah. give away our data, right? So, once we able to stop doing that and own our data, and we are able to monetize, and we be we're able to utilize that data however we want to for our best benefit. Now we're talking, guys, because behind the, behind those walls, <laughs> big corporations, man, they they using they using all of our data. Yeah, you know what I mean? yeah. Wouldn't that's, it be great if we could sell our own data to the corporations that want to advertise Hello. to us, right? Yeah, <laughs> right. On. Why right. should Facebook on, make right. money on my data because I want to have a mm-hmm. Facebook uh, book account, right? Right. You know, and this is what Web three does. Yeah. Web three essentially makes us all our own business owners right we can all essentially be our own facebook we could be our own spotify's we could be you know no disrespect or no shade to any of these yep. um to these companies no, these platforms, all pioneers yeah 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 all pioneers you know web web3 and everything that we're telling you guys all the tools even ai it's not saying <clears throat> forget all this stuff it's basically giving you an upgrade it's giving you another option that we never had none of us ever had this option before and it's giving us an option that it's weird because it's, it's like we all get to utilize this option. So it's not like like I need to have a million dollars to utilize this option or, or you don't have a thousand dollars and you can't utilize this option. No, like we all, it's just like we all can get on the internet. You know, it's about how you utilize the internet every day. Because yeah. some people are, utilize, are utilizing the internet where it's making them a million dollars a month. And some may be utilizing it where it's making them a hundred dollars a month. And some may not be even utilizing it at all, right. you know? And, you know, so it's, it's all about execution. But before execution, you know, it's just about the knowledge that, you know, we acquire and, and how we apply that shit. Man. And how does uh, gaming play a role in this uh, Web3 technology? Oh, man, bro. Gaming is crazy, man. Gaming is, you know what's crazy, too? I just read, I just seen it today, man. The new PlayStation PS5. New PS5, guys. Y'all know, y- y- know y'all want it, <laughs> you know? And y- y'all know, like, summertime's coming. Or right around the corner, everybody about to go get the PS5. They just implemented Discord in the PS5, man. Come on, man. What does this tell you guys, man? This tells you guys that well, gaming is already multi-billion dollar, if not trillion dollar industry, number one. Okay. And gaming is is, is like it transcends ages, right? You know, from kids to to men to women. The older people, older adults, it doesn't matter, right? Because we all, we all obviously can play games, and we all obviously have some part of that in our in our um in our everyday life. Right. But so now that you're able to implement the gaming aspect to NFTs and then Web three, man, it's blowing it out the roof, man. You know, because now you can implement it in all these other different um, devices, such as a PS five. Okay, and now. Say, uh, just give you an example. If you had an NFT, you want guys, you want to put out an NFT, and you want to put out a music NFT, but you're a gamer, or you want to get to the gamers, then come on, man, you got you get in Twitch. You know what I mean, you could go get in your Discord and start promoting your music in your Discord, and everybody that has a PS5 right now could be able to access your music through their PS5. This is crazy, guys. And then that leads to you being able to get it into certain different games and certain and, and allow now you 
once again, we're talking about data and IP, which you already, if you own your data and IP, now you can license your data and your IP out, guys. Come on, man. Like, you know, it, it, it might be a lot. I know it's a lot of people that might just be hearing this, but like I, like I said, man, you know, you got to tap in with us, man, because it's, it's everything is coming together. And my, my thing is I want everybody to be ahead of the curve. I, I don't I don't want my people to be late, man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, if you didn't get a chance to... <clears throat> If you didn't get a chance to, uh, uh, you know, capitalize on the cell phones when they came around, right? Everyone said, what do you mean? How can you have a phone with no cord, right? Pay phones will never go away, you know? And then, right. uh, you know, the fax machine, right? And which is gone mm-hmm. already again. And if you didn't make money CDs. on CDs, DVDs, all of that stuff, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, if you look behind Even me, I got all this old uh, DAT tapes and beta tapes yeah, and b- i got all that stuff that are absolutely mm-hmm. useless and uh right. if you if you weren't able to capitalize you know in the you know mid 90s on the internet right here's an mm-hmm. opportunity to really take right. advantage of the next version of the internet mm-hmm. uh which is interactive mm-hmm. and uh you know like g is saying it's uh, your little piece of uh, of the world right that you could now mm-hmm. license out to others and participate in other people's worlds as well i mean facebook this multi multi billion dollar company changed their name <laughs> to meta <laughs> right yeah. so it's yeah. uh do you think they're involved in the metaverse at all um <laughs> you know you know what i mean so the metaverse is sometimes confusing to people um and web3 is a little confusing to people because we don't yeah, call is. the current web web2 right <laughs> Where right, Web right, 1 right. was like dial-up and AOL and that kind of stuff. And then Web 2 mm-hmm. is kind of what we have now, which is a very robust infrastructure of, you know, the ability to communicate with people all over the world, but nothing secure. And that's where Web 3 mm-hmm. comes in, right? Yeah, yeah, that's where it comes in. It's just like, you know, man, the Y2K bug, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right, right. Everybody's like, yo, Y2K, Y2K is coming. You know, essentially, that's what this is, right? Because everybody was bugging out. They thought, you know, shit was going. I forgot what they thought, but they they thought it was going to be a big crisis. You know. Yeah, right they thought today. all the clocks were going to zero out, right? All the right, all right, of the right, clocks right. on the computers were going to zero out, and mm-hmm. everything was going to crash, and the whole world would have to start mm-hmm. from zero again. Mm-hmm. And uh, we sat yeah, around. I remember right. that too. And we sat around. We're like, "Oh God, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen?" Right. And nothing yeah. happened. Yeah, <laughs> right. and nothing happened. And, right. I, and, I, and come on, guys, we, we teaching out here because that's what essentially was going on right now with Web three. You know, so like, that, stop being scary. Right. You know, stop listening to all of the, the bullshit and the jargon. And like, you know, go and read up on this stuff. You know, go and um, go meet some people. You know, it's 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 like it's like four, five, six conferences just in America yeah. every month. Yeah. Every month, it's an NFT Web three conference. At least, I'm gonna say at least ten a month, all across the country. Yeah. Right. So like, go go to one of these conferences. Go meet some people. Go see what it's about in real life. You know. But but like you said, big bro, that's perfect because we got to take advantage of this now. You know, especially like you know my peers and like you know people that I speak to a, a lot. Like we weren't able to take advantage of bitcoin in the early early days yeah. you weren't able to take advantage of cell phones when they got invented yeah. right yeah so and you know we, we weren't able to take advantage and like the, like the stock market back in the days when like you know people really got got in got in yeah so it's like why not be a part of something that we all could be we on the ground floor of it right now that you're doing you know? anyway and into, right and you're doing all of this stuff anyway, anyway. Right. You're doing anyway, right, right. 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 So you're going to either be, you got to make up your mind whether you want to be a seller or a consumer. Yeah. Like that's what it really comes down to, you know. And I interviewed somebody, you know, I interviewed an OG on my show a few months back, right. And he took me through a conversation where he remembers there wasn't no credit cards. It was only cash. It was only cash with no credit card. And when they first implemented credit cards into the system, People were going crazy, like, what the fuck, plastic? No, cash, what? Oh, shit, I'm, I'm losing my mind. I'm a... But now everybody uses this plastic car. But the funny thing about it is that nobody asked all of the questions that they asking, like when it comes to Web3. That's the funny part, okay? Because I, even me, myself, I've never asked exactly, how does this plastic strip work through this how, okay, how did y'all take it from even being a plastic strip to swiping through to now can tap? None of y'all have asked yourself these questions. 
But when the technology upgraded, you just fucking upgraded with That's it. That's right. That's and right. And you went along with it. Yeah. So, but when it comes to Web three and, and and the blockchain, everybody's so is questioning it, and everybody's so skeptical. And it's like it makes no sense, man. Like you got to you got to treat it as you got to treat it the same way, and um, just know that you you're ahead of the curve, right? Yeah. You're, you're in it right now. Like before, we were always you know coming after the fact. You know what I mean? So now, like that we're in it, and we can take advantage in the moment. Come on, guys. Why wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah. Pioneering something is uh, is takes trust, right, and takes belief, right? right. right? And mm-hmm. uh, guess what? Uh, like you're saying, we we're, we're using all of this stuff right now, anyway. And Web three seems mm-hmm. to be a um, you know the scary. What is Web three? It's literally Web two right. on steroids, you know, and right. and and more protection for the end user. Right. And uh, right. an ability for you to protect your assets and your data. Mm-hmm. Right. Just online. Mm-hmm. I mean, everything's moving there. And uh, like we said earlier, if you um, if you don't have a Web3 strategy in your business right now, you better get one uh, quickly. You know, this is reminds me of the oh, yeah. cannabis industry, too, how it just sort of creeped up and creeped up and creeped up. And now, mm-hmm. you know, 38 mm-hmm. states are legal and, you know, everyone's struggling mm-hmm. uh, or scrambling. How do I get in? How do I get in? Now, now, cannabis oh, yeah. has always been around mm-hmm. music, and it's always mm-hmm. just been a part of music. Uh, do you think that mm-hmm. cannabis will transcend technologies and, you know, move into the Web3 area as well? Or do you think it has to? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's already there. It's there already. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's just, you know, it's about the presence is about to be made stronger, but it's there. But, yo, just going back to what you just said, man, listen. I'm from New York City, guys. Listen, man, I've been locked up for the smallest little clip of weed that you could ever imagine that you couldn't even smoke and the cops have locked me up for this shit in New York City. So now, 360 retrospect that I can smoke in front of a cop in his face in New York City in Times Square, guys. Man, listen, need I say more, guys? This shit is crazy, man. This shit is crazy. and. Just the fact that when something when when, when something has a, a, such a demand, like how cannabis has over the years, even when they were locking people up for little, little small clips in New York City, just to fill quotas, it, 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 when it has so much of a demand, even when there's so much blowback like that, it's going to always transcend time and it's going to come out on top, which is what it did right now, because now these guys rather they rather get, they rather collect the taxes than lock you up or for what quarters they were filling, you know, or for cannabis. So listen, cannabis is, is already transcended time, you know, since Bob Marley days, like, you know, shout out to Marley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Shout out to all my real smokers out there. Shout out to my guys that listen, <clears throat> cannabis is a medicine. You understand? Like it's a, it's a, it's a medicine that allows us to cope without having to pop pills, you know, and, and get crazy on liquor and stuff yep. as well, right? Yep. So it's like, you you know, when when people medicating themselves on cannabis, like, nobody's having, no, no, nobody's doing nothing crazy. Right. You know what I'm saying? Nobody... Nobody smokes a joint nobody, and goes to rob a liquor store, right? You, you understand what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> right. right. And I mean, they, you don't go to that liquor store and maybe go get some Doritos That's right, that's right, that's you know right. That's right. right. <laughs> or maybe you know order a pizza, <laughs> right, but... <laughs> And then, and then when it comes to the door, go, um, are you going to get the door? Because I don't think I want to get right. the door. Are you going to get the door? <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, so I, th- I think cannabis has a big mode. place into, uh, in, in the Web3 space. Um, oh, no, nah, yeah. totally, man. Every, 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 oh, I'm not going to say every, but I'll say at least 80%, 85% of all the um, you know, cannabis, um, or, excuse me, all the NFT events that we go to, yeah, there's you know there's at least ven- um, some kind of cannabis vendors yeah. or cannabis representation there. Of course, you know us as you know on the blockchain podcast, like we represent cannabis. Of course, you know we have a few cannabis brands that we do represent as well. You know, and and we're looking for you know we uh, I mean obviously man you know we we about to about to do a bunch of collabs with Smuggleverse. That's I heard it first here. You know what I'm saying? But and we also about to do what we do in this community by bringing the people together, guys, you know, because we be bridging the gaps here, right? So it's like a lot of my guys that we that been into cannabis for for a long time, man, I got a good play for you guys, man. I got, man, we're going to give y'all a, a real playbook here, man, yeah. you know? We're going to invite you guys into the metaverse. 
you know, because whatever you guys are doing, any I'm talking to all cannabis companies, brands, and dispensaries and distributors right now. Whatever you guys are doing in the real world, come over here and let's do it in a, in a digital space. Come over here and let us get you a dispensary in the metaverse and your weed strand in the metaverse. Okay, and why not be promoting to these Web3 companies, okay? Like, it's, see, the thing I love about Web3, decentralized land, so we don't move as corporations, okay? Yeah, y'all saw that Spotify movie, right? When the guy came into the Spotify office and motherfuckers is riding skateboards and they over there shooting ball. And this is what we do, man. We having fun while we do what we passionate about, yeah. okay? So it is work. But, yeah, yeah. Today's uh, you know. broadcast is brought to us by the Smugglerverse, a uh, the first and only digital dispensary out there. Um, check them That's out right. at Smuggleverse dot com. But yeah, I, I think you're right. It's a uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think that um, you're right. It's a it's the same audience. It's the same culture, and it's melding together to create this really oh, yeah. incredible synergistic uh, community of people that want to take care of themselves and help take care of others, right? Because the truth is we are our brother's keeper, aren't we? And we should be more of that, right? Yeah, man. We're taking it back to, you know, it takes a village, you know. That's right. We're taking it back to it takes a village because our village is our community, our Web3 community, and that's the the ecosystem that, you know, we we build in here, man. So like I said, we onboarding Web3, excuse me, we onboarding people to Web3 to become a part of our community. And I mean, includes cannabis, of course, includes film, includes movies, includes um, fashion, includes yeah. music, okay? Yeah. It includes health and wellness, okay? Because we, we here to care about you, you know what I'm saying? Like, we we here to show that we care about you, should I say. And every aspect of every important thing in life, we are representing in the metaverse, guys. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like, it, I know people think like, oh, shit, I can't do it, but why can't you, though? Because whatever you're doing, like this shirt right here, I can I can NFT the shirt if I want to, you know? Broken, he can NFT those headphones if he wants yeah. to, okay? Like whatever, and, and actually sell it, you know? But you gotta be creative, you know? Because one thing over here is not for the copycats, it's not for the people that just like biting ideas and, and, and coming up with, you know, somebody else's ideas. And, you know, you gotta be original, you yeah. gotta be creative, you gotta know how to think outside the box, and you gotta know how to <clears throat> do what entrepreneurs do. Yeah. Number one thing entrepreneurs do is they fill voids. Okay, what the fuck is missing? What can I what can I provide that the people need that they're not getting right now? That's right. Okay. When you can always solve that problem or answer that question, then you're gonna always have a business to be able to um to be able to scale up. And you gotta be willing to do the uncomfortable as an entrepreneur, totally. right? You gotta be willing to do the totally. things that most people won't so you can have yeah. the things that most people don't. <laughs> right. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. And, they, and they they don't. It's crazy because it, it sounds it's, it sounds easy, but like when it comes to it, man. Listen, I've had to let a few people go that just they thought they got it and they yeah. thought they really understood it. But when, when you're in it, it's like no, because it's about the good times and the bad times. Yeah. You know, else you know you, you have to just go get a traditional type of job. Yeah. But you know, this is where you got to see you got to see through the good and the bad days. And um, you know you got to always just be working through working through the pain. You got to work through the storm. You got to, you know. <laughs> like, got to put the hours in for sure. A, yeah, got to put, gotta the, put hours the hours in. Got to put the hours in. You know, yeah, yeah. And, and work at it, guys. Yeah. Because over here is a real point system in Web three. Okay, yeah. you get in what you put out. I mean, you get out what you put in, right? So it's like in the in the real in the regular world, traditional world, a lot of people can be lazy and still try to ask for the the same pay. You know, a lot yeah. of people can try to cap and, and, and talk about shit that they doing that they never did right. or they, they, they you know they didn't even try to do okay but over here anything is is connected to the blockchain so whatever you did and whatever you are doing is documented and it's encrypted so there's no capping over here it's, it's not for the weak but you know it, it's for those that just you know got a passion and, and want to do better and and like seeing others do better yeah there's one yeah. thing i will say that people, the ones, the people that thrive in Web three are the people that's not just looking out for themselves. You know, they're looking out for others as that's well. Right. <clears throat> that's how it you is, get your yeah. blessings coming. Yeah, it is very community based. We're talking with G from the Web three Blockchain Show. I'm Todd Dankin with TNM News. Um, G, when do you think all of this is just going to be? Everybody's doing it. Sheesh, good question. I mean, it's going to be. It's going to take some time. 
Is it a year? Long, Are we a year, two years, three. five years, ten years? What is it? What? I said, like, in the next two years. Yeah. Yeah, I said, like, in the next two years. You know why? Because, like, the conversation I'm having so much, like, we had an event yesterday with Magic Johnson and Damon John and everybody. Listen, and I've said this, I said this multiple times yesterday in different conversations. Okay. Uh, just, the, just, just the way how we brought AI. AI just came into the AI was not. I'm not gonna say AI wasn't in the equation. It wasn't in the topic of conversation last year. And you it's know, and NFT, it's been around you know, for a while because the AI has been learning right. all of this time. Right. It's, been, it's learning. been learning. That's right. They've been developing it. That's right. for, for years. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not gonna say it hasn't been around. Yeah. It hasn't been a topic of conversation. That's right. Until February this year. Yeah. Right. Which is only a few months ago, guys. So. At the rate that AI is moving right now, now that it is a topic of conversation, it, it, it now it accelerates everything. Yeah, yeah. So now humans, we can't continue to be as fucking complacent and lazy as we always have. Okay, we have to step our shit up now. We always knew we did, right? Yeah. But now we have a real valid reason, you know, which what why we should. And why we should make sure right. that we get on board yeah. and on point. Otherwise, you're going to be. I don't. I don't know. Where, I don't know where you would be. Like, where would you be? Because well, you become a over. you become a follower instead of a leader. You know, and right, uh, you become a yeah. yeah. You know, that's what happens because over time, like like we're saying, you know, A E will or A I A E A uh, and E no. uh, A I will be uh, a part of our lives. Like every single day, we'll wake up and. Uh, some computer will know somewhere what it is that we drink, well, how it is we get to work, where our car is parked. I mean, all of that stuff that we do on a, every activity that we do is going to be, uh, you know, AI driven in the future, right? And and that's why this. Way and it kind of already is now. No, it it it, it is. It is we in the Alexa sense. In the house. No, no, hundred percent. But I think it's going to even get to where. You know, your bed is going to know that you're waking up, which is going to tell your coffee maker to start your coffee. And then by the time you get downstairs, everything is charged, ready to go. And your Mm -hmm. thing is ready and your car is charged and your car knows where to go because you'll just be reading, you know, reading Mm -hmm. the paper in the car on the way. Right. Well, it won't be a paper. It'll be a pad of some kind, probably in your car like a Tesla. Right. So, Mm -hmm. um. Mm-hmm. You know, I've been around, mm-hmm. uh, you know, for these technology shifts and, you know, right. it's not easy to take advantage mm-hmm. of these, you know, they're once in a lifetime opportunities sometimes. You know, the Internet mm-hmm. was 30 or 40 years ago, right? This is the next right. version. And if you don't take advantage of it, shame on you. Right. And, you know, don't bitch right. about it. Right. And don't say, oh, where's mine and what did I do? Because mm-hmm. you really do have the chance to uh, really learn and uh you know the uh, the yeah the Web three blockchain show really allows you that information and those details and that you know one to one contact where you can really learn from experts in the industry. What do you have coming up on the show? Yeah. Oh man, we got a ton coming up. We got a ton. But you know what's funny? You just reminded me. I'm, I was trying to think of that movie with um with Bruce Willis and Chris Tucker. Um, remember when Bruce was waking up when he was on the um. Oh shit! What's the name of that movie? When everything you wake up, everything was automated. As soon as you get up out the bed, it closed up. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, when yeah. Chris Tucker when it was the Fifth um, Element. The Fifth Element, right? Fifth Element. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brian, yeah, yeah. There you yeah. go. Yeah, Fifth Element. That'll be just like that. <laughs> no, that's right. It, you know, if everything that we've seen in the movies is going to be real. You know. Oh, nah. We're just yeah. coming through. Come on. Look at Ready Ready Player One, man. Come on, man. Yeah, no, 100%. Right there, yeah, look. E- Elon Musk is taking, mm-hmm. you know, uh, passengers, you know, in space. Yeah. Right? Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, it, yeah. it's all yeah. really happening, you know. And uh, I, mm-hmm. I've said that, uh, you know, many times that, you know, usually, um, you know, uh, art uh, mimics life. But what's happening course, is yeah. life is starting to mimic the art. Because of these creative right. minds that come up with all this really cool stuff, mm-hmm. um, you oh, know, yeah. and, and now it's really becoming, you know, real life. I mean, there are now, I mean, we thought that in 2023, there'd be hoverboards, right? There'd be, yeah. um, you know, that's right. what that's yeah. what the year was in Back to the Future, mm-hmm. you know, where uh, mm-hmm. Michael J. Fox was on the hoverboard, right? Um, so mm-hmm. we're a few years mm-hmm. off, but uh, look, we got drones everywhere. We got people making personal flying machines based on drone technology. Mm-hmm. We got surfers surfing without touching the water, right? We have all of these mm-hmm. vehicles that 
are being created and being mastered, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, it really is going to change mm -hmm. everything. And the um, flying motorcycle is supposed to drop this. Yeah, year. yeah, 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 yeah. Some crazy shit so. happening in uh, in technology for sure. So, what do you got coming up on the show? Yeah, man. Well, we got come up with a bunch of dope new artists, man. We got a tons, tons of new content. Um, you know, we're gonna be at your, at, at all of major NFT Web three blockchain conferences coming up. Um, we actually have another. We got an event coming up. Web three is taking us all around the world, guys. Like literally, guys. We'll be um, we'll be in Alaska next. We've been in Alaska in June, guys. Nice. It's crazy, man. Shout out to Ron Bass, man, doing a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful things out there. Um, and obviously, we need to connect too because, man, he's big cannabis guy, man, huge cannabis guy, man. And um, yeah, we're gonna be doing like a big cannabis festival in fucking Alaska, guys. I can't believe it, man. I, I never thought I. This Alaska's is crazy, awesome. Man. Web yeah. three, yeah. But um, you know, yeah. we got a, we're gonna be doing um, some workshops. Where we're gonna be teaching, so we're gonna be going into some certain schools, certain communities. We're gonna be going um, to, you know, <clears throat> just to teach the people and get uh, in a little more hands-on, intimate type of settings. Um, yeah, man, and um, we're just here for the people, man. We got a, a ton of new collaborations coming up on a, on the blockchain exclusive, but I can't I can't say too much just yet. But listen, man, I'm I'm gonna come back and give Todd the exclusive, exclusive, because yeah, man. Um, so big collabs in the works right now as we speak. Awesome. You know what I mean, everything is working. Everything is coming together. Um, yeah, man, we just out here working, man. You know, um, and look forward to season two on the Blockchain Podcast. Will be um, season two will be coming up next um, coming up in this this summer. This summer. Yeah. Nice, yeah. nice. Yeah, so besides yeah. right here on TNM News, and uh, by the way, if you go to the website at TNM News. Uh, dot com and you click on TNM News TV, you'll see all of the episodes of the blockchain, uh, the Web3 blockchain show, and you'll see G and uh, lots of his interviews there. Where else can we find you and what are your socials so uh, everybody can uh, start following you? Okay, no doubt, no doubt. And yeah, man, listen, make sure y'all tap in with TNM News. Listen, man, these guys, they're the truth. I've been around. I don't just fuck with anybody, man. This is my family right here. And we got some big things coming on TNM News exclusive. One of Blase News exclusive. Listen, but what we got coming up. Oh, listen. You asked me for the. You can check us out on the blockchain. That's O L O N T H E B L O C C H A I N. That's on every. That's on every social media platform. That's YouTube, <clears throat> TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, Discord. You can check us out on blockchainshow.com. Uh, that's our website. And um, yeah, man. And blockchain show is spelled B L O C C H A I N S H O W dot com. Um, yeah, man. And you can check us out at your nearest Web3 NFT conference nice. coming soon. You know what I mean? And um, yeah, man. Stay tuned, guys. We got a bunch of big stuff coming up. And we here. And if you have any NFT projects, even if you got a cannabis project or cannabis brand, that you you know we want to get you want to do some web three stuff on listen man we here for you guys we offer web three marketing services if you ever looking or interested in marketing to the web three brands to web three communities if you're looking to do anything with your nft hit us up man listen we're here for the people for the community and our main thing is that man listen it's all about the give back and that's the utility the number one word in this space is utility guys and that's what we all about is the give back so whatever we could do to help you guys out, man, hit us up, man, and we have for y'all, man. Awesome. Awesome. His name is G, a visionary innovator with and host of uh, the Web3 blockchain show. Make sure you check him out. All of those uh, social media and uh, websites will be down in the text area of this video right below. Uh, G, thanks a lot for coming on TNM News and uh, letting our audience uh, really learn more about Web three as we uh, shift, you know, even our direction a little bit uh, to cannabis and crypto. And I think it's important. Yes, I love it. Yeah, I think it's important to uh, really bring, uh, you know, the education with an entertainment flair, uh, you know, to the audience. So I appreciate you coming on. And uh, yeah, let's stay in touch over the next several months and uh, whatever exclusive you have. Uh, in, oh, yeah. in in reference to Web3 and the Web3 blockchain mm -hmm. show, you'll see it right here on TNM News. Oh, yeah. 
So the, okay. thanks a lot for exclusive. Nice, nice. I'm excited. So uh, uh, looking forward to oh, more. Man, hold on, Todd. I gotta yeah, yeah. shout you out, Todd. Man, yeah. you a legend yourself, man. <laughs> you fucking humble. You like, you, come on, man. See all the real people in life, man. They humble. You don't even listen, man. You wouldn't even know if you don't know. Yeah. Okay? yeah. But I gotta shout you out, Todd, man. Cause Gong Show, man, that shit is legendary, <laughs> man. Like, yo, listen, bro. Listen, man. For those of you that don't, and I, this is what I love about Web Three too. You see. We, 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 we cutting out the fat, right? All the old traditional stuff, the middleman, the red tape, the boundaries, fuck all that. We cutting out the bad stuff, but we bringing back the good stuff and we implementing it in what we have going on moving forward. I, we should bring back the gong show, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show, let me uh, let me that make some calls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was fucking <laughs> yo, man. Listen, man. That is beautiful, man. The fact that you worked on that, been around for a minute, man, and you still here. And this is what see you a serial entrepreneur, man. You got these guys on fucking Clubhouse and Facebook talking. About, I'm a serial entrepreneur, and motherfucker, you was working at Burger King last. Yeah, day. yeah, yeah. No disrespect. <laughs> no, no, but no. Listen, yeah. Serial yeah. entrepreneur is just like goat, greatest of all time. Like and people want to be like, oh, a rapper come out two years and then be like, oh, he's the greatest. Of, Bro, greatest of all time is you have to stand the test of time. Right. Okay? You right. have to transcend through not just years, but you got to transcend through decades yeah. to get these acknowledgments and these accomplishments, guys. Okay? And then when a person does, you got to salute them and give them their flowers right now in real time because there's not too many that's doing it. Yeah. And, and I'm sure that everybody else that was working on that fucking show, man, which legendary as it is, they not as relevant as you are right now. You ah, well, <laughs> appreciate that, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, man. Uh, so, yeah, man, salute to you, man. Thank you. Appreciate you. So he's G. Yes, I'm Todd. This is TNM News. Thanks for watching, everybody. And uh, make sure you check him out at uh, the uh, Web3 Blockchain Show and uh, all of the socials and everything will be listed down below. G, always a pleasure. We'll talk to you soon. Uh, thanks a lot. Uh, good night, everybody, and have a pleasant tomorrow. Appreciate you.